may be a jaded thing to say, but it seems that whenever there's money to be made, you'll find a salesman. So it's not unusual that there are salesmen, lots of them, in show business where there is a lot of money to be made. But these salesmen don't call themselves that. They are agents, managers, representatives, promoters, and their jobs for a percentage of the performer's earnings are to get that performer work. The promoter does this through controlling what the performer does and how he does it and for how much. David Levine is one such promoter. Hopping between California and Montreal, he is continually hustling, digging up performing dates, thinking up stunts, arranging publicity, and making money. You can't make it without promotion. There is no way. And it's, uh, it's hype. It's pure and simple hype. And hype is necessary to get out there and be seen. Yeah, her band should be underneath. They should be setting up. Yes, right on stage, okay? I'm starting, I'm getting another... Yes, yes, okay. Um, the role of a promoter is, I think, increasing uh, in importance only because, um, for example, an artist signs up with a record company. The, this record company believes to a point in that artist, they'll throw out a single, uh, one single record. Uh, they'll give her a certain amount of promotional support, but they have 50 other artists perhaps on their roster. Out of those 50, maybe 10 are really producing revenue for them. And when I mean revenue, I mean millions of dollars. You know, they release an album and bingo, they know it's a million, million dollar and more seller. Um, so they automatically will sell that artist that they, as a record company, believe in. So what happens to the other artist that has equal potential and equal talent and is, and is good production and good producing and is good sound as perhaps the one that's making it for the record company? What happens to that artist? That is where the promoter comes in and the manager who's knocking on that record company door, who serves as a liaison between the artist and her record company and the media. So in other words, they'll always be, a matter of fact, more so now, because the industry is growing and becoming much more sophisticated. Um, it's a relatively new industry, the recording industry. Uh, it is filled with a lot of, um, well, incompetent people. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Time is of, of utmost, okay? Um, can, please, okay. The only thing that I want to say to the band, first of all, is that you're coming on after recorded music, which would be Touch Me, Take Me, okay? Now, that's a high-energy tune. I think you know that's uh, Dominic Chisenti's tune. So you are going to do a warm-up opening number, because that you'll be the first live act on stage. Yeah. And consequently, uh, you'll have to just come through. Really, it came through beautifully here. It's yeah. close quarters, but oh, don't worry. the energy's there. But I saw a couple of guys sitting down. I'm assuming you'll all be standing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and your backup vocals will be, in fact, backup vocals. Mm -hmm. Okay, they will be up front the way you've got mm -hmm. them now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the only thing that really I wanted to mention. As a you're dealing with personalities and um, people. It's a people business. And you're taking ideas, and you're taking their ideas, your ideas, and you're trying to package these ideas and sell them to the consumer. Um, the reason I bring in personality is because an artist manager or an artist promoter, and uh, they're both very similarly related, has to believe in his product and the person that he is working with. Uh, conversely, the artist has to believe in his or her manager. It's almost like getting married. You've got two new ma uh, band members. Two new band members. Okay, so you're, you're going to rehearsal, what, two, two more days or before no, no, the show? No. you got one more rehearsal? One more rehearsal. Do you feel show. comfortable? I feel fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. One thing I noticed is that I'd like to see you more up front. David, okay? David, and, David. Uh, we just finished moving this 
Okay. These two microphones yeah. from there, okay. all the way up there, moving all this equipment, everything is going to uproar. Two hectic Your days before the show. Your vocals will be backup back, vocals. They will be backup vocals. I want to make you the star. You, you, no problem. You with okay. No problem. No okay. problem. That will be taken now, care of. The only selling a human being like you're selling a product, I mean, psychologically, uh, it does, you know, it has certain negatives to your own personality. But the whole industry is, is so exciting. And uh, somehow when you get caught up in it, you, you find yourself spending seven day weeks, uh, maybe 12, 13, 14 hours a day uh, on it. And you get wrapped up. So I've forgotten about this dilemma, as you call it, of, of selling a person. I, it doesn't bother me at this point, no. Matter of fact, I, I, I enjoy it. I find it very challenging. That's, that's, that's cool. I am promoting the artist, building up the property value so it be, can become a viable entity to resell. Resell for film, TV rights, T-shirts, posters, uh, toys, etc., uh, etc. Et now, the more this property increases in value the more money comes in the other other door through merchandising for example personally um, I believe that any artist that is working with me I'm helping to further their career now whether I treat them uh, I do treat them as human beings when I'm with them uh, Lou Rawls, Dionne Warwick, Donna Summers uh, I can go on and on these are artists that I work with I mean I have a tremendous rapport with these people, but I will sit down with them and say to Dion, for example, I'll say, Dion, it, we're going to do a television show. I think you should do this, 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 because it is in line with the certain image that we're trying to create for you. Okay, why do we want to create a certain image? Well, you create a certain image and it's like a marketing plan, a basic marketing plan for a chocolate bar. Everything that you do has to point in the same direction. Like, a, like an arrow. And it can't be shotgun because it's too expensive. If it goes in the three million directions, nothing happens. So you have to target to something. So you prepare a marketing plan and you, and you, you prepare what, what is called a posture. Let's say with Dionne Warwick, we want a, a very feminine, uh, sexy looking, uh, sophisticated looking woman. Now, in other words, everything that we do from a media standpoint, i.e. in exposure, has to fall in line with this type of an image that we're trying to create. So I'm not afraid to tell, tell Dion, Dion, I think you should do this. It's, how, it's, it's the relationship. And um, the artist knows that eventually uh, what we're trying to do is get her on television, get her on a TV special uh, where she can make $100,000 for a TV special instead of $20,000. I mean, that's what it boils down to is dollars and cents. The more exposure, the more the image is working for that individual, the more the individual and the people surrounding her, including a person like myself, make money. product or any individual that has a property value the stronger that property value it goes into film it goes into a TV weekly series it goes into a comic book series it goes into toys posters and I, I did mention that but that's really what we're trying to do with an artist even see when when a, even a, a singing artist there's many artists by the way and I, I'm dealing primarily with uh, number one uh, singing artists uh, that uh, have records out there Okay, the record can go out there, but that's the vehicle. It can become a hit, but then what? Then you gotta put an act together, and then you gotta get this act polished, then you gotta get it out of the, on the road, and you've gotta hype the act so people come and see it, like KISS. KISS is a typical example of a tremendous promotional hype. It's an act, the music is what I would say questionable, I mean, from, from an album standpoint, I mean, how much of KISS can you listen to? But if you, visually, 
to see them on stage and to see the reaction on the audience is incredible. And that's where the dollars are. When you bring an act into the Montreal Forum, for, the, for an example, which is a pretty good venue, and you see 17,000 seats filled at 8 and $10 a throw, I mean, I don't have to say too much. I mean, that is building up a property and an act. It's all hustling, and it's hype, and it's a lot of work, and a lot of energy, and a lot of belief. Uh, oh, am I supposed to smile, or am I supposed to cry? I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> We call this story the selling of David Levine, for it's axiomatic that to get a client to promote, you must first sell yourself to a client.